Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Valenzi. I'm at White Wolf Dental Group down here in Port Orange, Florida. That's whitewolfdental.com. And we have a podcast that we call Talk to the Dentist. Now, normally it's just an audio podcast, but today I wanted to talk about some really cool, revolutionary new technology uh, that's changing the way that that we look at x-rays and the information we can get from x-rays. And I didn't think that I could do this by just talking about it. I had to show you it. So I'm going to try to do this with a, with a camera, with videotaping it. And I'm not the most adept at that. So there might be better ways to do this, but I think you'll get the kind of general idea. But um, here's what I want to talk about. Um, x-rays are, of course, a very important part of what we do in dentistry because it, tells, it shows us things that we can't see with the, with the naked eye. Now, traditionally, the x-rays that we've taken are ones like this over here. These are, these are film x-rays, and you've all seen these over the years. There, there are a lot of disadvantages with these kind of x-rays, but we use them for years, and they certainly show a lot of things. Uh, a number of years ago, we went to using digital x-rays, which are basically like this, except using some sort of sensor. And I'll show you an example of that over here. Um, this, is, uh, this is a single x-ray. As you can see, it's much bigger, so it's very easy to see. If you're unclear about things and you want to look at, for example, this area of root canal problem at the bottom of this tooth, you can zoom in and get a more detailed view of that. You can, um, you can change the color and the contrast of this to make it more visible, I can play with these kinds of things, just like the things that you guys do when you're doing your digital photographs at home. So there's many advantages with a digital x-ray. We can also <coughs> that. But what these things have in common, and one of the problems, not a problem, but one of the limitations of this technique is that you're looking at a two-dimensional image. I can see a dark area here on this x-ray, but I really can't see the width of it, or I can't see important structures that may run before and after it. You know, a two-dimensional picture is it's not like having the real thing in front of you. So, in recent years, there's been, um, there's been CAT scans that have been developed, which, of course, have costed, cost a, an enormous amount of money and were used just for medical purposes. And then, more recently, smaller versions of these were developed that would allow people to take three-dimensional x-rays of a limited area of the head, which we can use for, as dentists for our purposes. They were very uncommon and generally only found in specialty practices for specialty uses. Generally, uh, oral surgeons, if they're trying to do reconstructions after, uh, after severe accidents, or planning implant cases where the bone structure was, uh, was very critical, that was really useful. And we would send our patients out for those kinds of procedures. They're, they, were, they are and were very expensive. Uh, a typical scan might be $500 to $1,000. So we only used it in limited, limited times, only when we really, really needed that information. Well, we have the opportunity to get ourselves a system like that, which we will now use for as a routine thing for all of our patients. And I want to show you this very cool bit of technology. So come with me. I'm going to show you my Robbie the Robot, or we haven't really named it yet, but that's what it looks like to me. And we'll show you a little bit more about why this is so important and what this means for you as a patient. Okay. Here he is. And he's gorgeous, isn't he? Look at that. Got the Devo hat on, got the glowing light over here. This is a very cool piece of technology. It, um, it has all of these motions to control its, its location as it's taking the image. I will, uh, let's see. What do we do here, Erica? We just hit perform scan. No, it's fine. There it is. It's doing its motion. There we go. Oh, look at that beautiful thing there. So, what does that? What kind of information does that give us? This is the really cool part. 
Let's take a look at uh, a full 3D reconstruction of a scan that a patient that we had a patient um, take just the other day. Now, the first thing is that we have just a really very cool ability to look three-dimensionally at somebody's jaws, just like we were uh, holding their jaws in our hand and and looking at them. There's no gums in the way. We can. Um, we could see everything underneath it, just like we had done some surgery. And look at the kinds of things that you could see. I am going to zoom in on these lower front teeth here. And you can see in this area, there is massive bone loss around these teeth. Now, this is something which you might, might have been able to see with a regular x-ray as well, because this is such an obvious problem. But then let's take a look at some things you couldn't see. Know if we could, if you could see where I'm pointing over here, but look at this large shelf of bone that's sticking out here. That's something which has uh, some Im impact on our treatment, which you wouldn't be able to see with a regular X-ray because a regular X-ray would have looked like this. Let's kind of get you in that angle. Okay, that's how a regular X-ray would have looked. We would have seen a high ridge of bone here and um, it would not have looked really that terrible. But with a three-dimensional x-ray, I can tilt this down, oh, let's move that up, and start to see not only the huge hole in the tooth right here, but the hole in the bone that totally surrounds this tooth. So you begin to appreciate that this person has some very severe gum problems that uh, a regular x-ray would not have shown you. So being able to rotate the teeth around individually, looking at it from all different angles, is, is a whole other world. It's sort of like the difference between having x-rays and not having x-rays. And to be able to do this and offer this to our patients as a routine thing is, is what's really going to just uh, drive the practice in, in the next, you know, going forward from here because we will be able to have all of the information that we never had before. Because of the, uh, the technology behind this, we're even able to do it at less radiation than a traditional series of x-rays. So you get more information at less radiation. It's just, it's just a win-win situation. Now, it doesn't totally eliminate the need for all x-rays. One of the weaknesses of this, situ of, this, of this system is it doesn't really look at decay as well when you have um, restorations on the teeth. So if you've had crowns and you've had uh, silver fillings, it doesn't see the areas right around those fillings as well. But I can see the rest of the tooth and everything else better. And we'll supplement it with a couple of traditional digital x-rays just to look for decays in those situations. So, it doesn't totally get rid of those, those other films, but it takes the number down from, say, 18 or 22 x-rays down to about four. So less things shoved in your mouth. You know, I'm, I'm sure if you've ever had x-rays taken, you know, that's not the most pleasant thing in the world. So to go from 18 to four, I think that's pretty good. And we have so much more information so we can make a more accurate diagnosis. So that is why I am so excited about this technology. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope uh, I hope we've given you some idea of of the value of this technology and why we're so excited to be able to share it with our patients. If you'd like to find out more about it, uh, you can visit our site at White Wolf Dental Group or listen to these podcasts at TalkToTheDentist.com. And if you'd like to suggest other questions or other topics, please uh, use the comment section to to let me know. And thank you very much for watching. Bye now.